alleged vandals are costing you money in Springfield tonight. Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Mark Allen. The National Trail Parks and Recreation District has already spent thousands of dollars combating graffiti and theft. Rob Sneed shows you the damage and the steps that park officials are taking. It's our top story at 530. This skate park on Mitchell Boulevard in Springfield is a place thrill seekers like Brandon Thompson visit often. The thrill of going down one of those ramps really fast, um, I guess just the risk that it takes. From a distance, these ramps look inviting, but when you look closer, you'll see they're littered with graffiti. It's really a shame that they got to do that. I mean, there are other things you can do with graffiti. I mean, you can put it in museums. Uh, you can do it on even cardstock paper. National Trail Director Leanne Castillo says the graffiti doesn't stop at the skate park. It can be found all over their city's parks. She says last month at Splash Zone, officials found more than 30 places that were vandalized with spray paint. Well, it affects us quite a bit because we are already struggling to uh, meet the needs of our community with the dollars that were provided. But to make matters worse, just a few days ago, someone stole more than $40,000 worth of equipment. We had a break in at one of our golf maintenance facilities and quite a bit of equipment and two workman vehicles were stolen. Castillo says National Trail purchased security cameras costing them more than $1,000. I called Springfield Police Lieutenant Jeff Mayer who says if you're caught spray painting graffiti, you will be charged with criminal damaging and you could get 90 days in jail and a fine up to $750. We just ask that you think about everyone that you're affecting. It's maybe a, a win for them or a gain for them, but it's affecting everyone in our community negatively, and we ask that they just think bigger picture. Reporting in Springfield, Rob Sneed, 2 News, working for you. And park officials tell us they plan to have those cameras installed within the next couple of weeks.